who have been the people that you've met when you uh, achieved this level where you go into these premieres, you're going to these places and there's an actor that you idolized and they look at you and they're excited to see you when they come over. Do you have, is there anyone who pops for you where you think, oh my God. Well, they have Conan O'Brien. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. I mean, well, that was uh, a big moment for you, That yes. was a big moment for me <laughs> and it's always but a I big mean, moment. Uh, okay, that's the peak, but yeah, what's near exactly. the peak? That's near the God's stuff. Now talking about humans. <laughs> I will say Al Pacino. Yes. Al Pacino. Al Pacino. So Al Pacino sent me a, a, a he, he called me after watching Before Night Falls, but it was two o'clock in the morning in Spain, and it was a time where there was a, a tape, a, a, an answering machine with tape. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. So I was sleeping. I was like, oh, who's calling? And then, and, hi. Hi, Javier. It's Al, it's Al Pacino. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I couldn't get the phone like, Al Pacino is calling my home. I saw the movie. I liked it a lot. And <laughs> congratulations. I was like, and then I went and I play and I play it again and I play it again. And I have the tape. I have the tape. Yeah. yeah. So the first day I met him in Toronto Film Festival, I went to the to the to the toilet and I took a picture with a camera, no phones at the time, of my my face in the mirror because my face was like, I'm going to meet Al Pacino. And the good thing about it all is that he's He's such a wonderful man. Yes, yeah. So when you meet someone that you admire so much, you go, and he's even better uh, than you would imagine. Yeah, he, uh, my first encounter with him, because I, you know, grew up on the Godfather movies and then Serpico and it just, you know, Dog Day Afternoon. And it just, I mean, he's, he is such a, a, above a star to me. He's something else. And so I was working on an award show uh, in here in in the states, and I think I was in L.A. and I did my thing and went all right, and then I go backstage, and it's between it's in a commercial break, so I go backstage, and I'll, suddenly I'll, they're bringing all this scenery through. They say, "Clear the way, clear the way!" So I get pushed into this little room, literally pushed into a little room, side room, to make way for these guys to come through. And I look around and it's just a room with me, a tiny room, like the size of a phone booth. And it's me and Al Pacino. <laughs> and I'm stumbstruck and he goes, Conor O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> and liquid shit just <laughs> comes out of, oh, God. I urinated it, I defecated, I mean, just, it was awful. Like it came out of every pore. Conor O'Brien. And I went, Mr. Pacino, you have no idea. And I just tell him how much he makes me news. Like, and then he puts it back on me and he's like, no. You, a tightrope every night, a new script. You gotta wing it, madness. You know, and he's just going on about how, oh, sure, I've done The Godfather, but I saw you with Al Roker, you know. And he was liquid shitting himself. Yeah, yeah. No, he wasn't. But I thought, this is, no, sir, no, sir. And it just blew my mind. And then every so now and funny. then I'll be in New York in a restaurant, and it just happened recently where I hear, Conan! <laughs> and, it's, and he's there in the corner in a restaurant. Oh, and, wow. uh, and I get to have these little conversations with him. And I, what I found is in the last one, I'm so self-conscious about taking up his time uh -huh. that I'll have a few back and forth with things with him the other, and then I'll say like, well, uh, you know, have a great meal and so nice to see you when I run away. And then he apparently, because I, I ran to this woman who was at the table a couple of days later, coincidentally at this other event. And she said, I was like, why did he run away? <laughs> <laughs> I ran away because I'm scared. Aww. You're Al Pacino. I don't want to wish. He fled. He flew. Why did he go? But uh, yeah, that would be one, I would think. That would yeah. be one, yeah. yes. He's, yes, a, yes, he's yes. just a guy that, uh, and I read somewhere, and this is something that I completely agree with because I'm on record as saying this uh, a long time ago, but you were starstruck and had a bit of a man crush on Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? And mean, it's, thank you. Of course. Because there are many times where women have said to me about men, don't you think he's attractive? And I'm like, I just, I, I don't know. I don't, you know, it doesn't. But Brad Pitt, I mm -hmm. think, damn. Yeah. I'd sleep with that guy. <laughs> of course. I don't even know how it works, but I would <laughs> I'd do as I was told. That's Brad Pitt. I'd have someone explain to me what my role is in this. 
<laughs> am I up top? Am I down below? Oh, am I nice. against the? I don't care. It doesn't matter. Somebody uh, told me I'll that, just do I'll it. Just do it. <laughs> do it. Draw a series of drawings, yeah. a diagram. But I mean, it really is like I he's so charismatic and good looking, and I don't exactly. know. I agree, yeah. I agree with that. So maybe the three of us, we have something, something to do. Well, listen, you're the. You're the one that has the the pull here. Yeah. The call has to come from you, Javier. And then when she says, like, you know what? I really love you, Javier. And yes, you and I should uh, get together. That's when you have to say, no. there's one person I want to bring along. And Brad's probably like, oh, well, it's, you know, I don't know. I guess it's another it's a huge, yeah, you know, it's, a, it's Tom Cruise or it's Ben Affleck. I'm like, no, no. I full time. <laughs> Oh, oh God! It's All happening! Right. It's happening! Oh. It's happening! It's happening! He doesn't happening know it now. yet, but it's happening! Oh, oh no. boy! When does this? When does this come out? Does this come out soon? Uh, this comes out on Brad Pitt three someday. Which is <laughs> Guys, I'm I, I, I'm here to promote a movie for kids. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Let's clean this up. Hey, when I when he said threesome, he meant bicycle built for three. That's right. Yeah. A ride to the park. Exactly. And then we all eat sandwiches. The remake exactly. of Three Men and a Little Baby. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. 